Hey, Coach. Um, Tanner had a great play, a good catch over there in uh, down the left field line and crashed to the fence. And then Casagrande came in for him to pinch hit. Uh, is Tanner okay? And Or was that more of you're looking for the lefty versus the righty, um, McGreevy, who was kind of at the end of his night? Yeah, no, that was a, a – Tanner's fine, uh, first of all, and it was an amazing play. Uh, I don't know if the fence is okay. Um, but uh, great play by Tanner. And that was a, a matchup thing for what we wanted to do there. Uh, and then how important is it for your team to know that you guys can win games like last night where it was, you know, a back and forth high scoring affair. And then tonight was more of a grinded out approach, you know, great pitching on both sides. How important is it for your team that you guys can win both of those kind of games moving forward? Yeah, it's critically important. It's something we emphasize, you know, any type of game, any type of field, any type of opponent, uh, any type of conditions, wind blowing in, wind blowing out. And we pride ourselves on that and uh, very proud of the team tonight. Uh, that's a difficult pitcher we were facing. We obviously got an unbelievable uh, performance by Garrett. Very believable to me, but uh, he executed at a high level, obviously, and didn't really allow them to get on much of anything. I thought we played good defense for the most part and did just enough offensively against, like I said, a really good pitcher. What impressed you the most about Garrett's performance tonight? Well, he threw every pitch exactly where he wanted to. So the command was special, but um, the self-control, um, the ability to stay pitch to pitch and just a different, I'd call it a heightened focus um, in his body language. It was no doubt in my opinion, he would pitch well, but to execute like that, I think it showed a lot of his mental toughness mm -hmm. and his um, strength and mindset. And our team just really fed off of that. The last time you had a pitcher throw a shutout in the postseason was J.C. Cloney in the 2016 College World Series. Does Garrett remind you of J.C. in some ways? Yeah, I mean, they're both winners. That's the first thing that stood out. Um, both great comp competitors, you know, and recruiting both of them. It was one of those when you're involved in it, you know how important that particular player is going to be to the success of your program. And, uh, yeah, just winners is the common thread between J.C. and Garrett. So I'm guessing the game plan was to be very patient with the UCSB pitcher at first, work up the count, and then take advantage at the right time? Well, um, you know you're up for a challenge when you're facing a, a guy like McGreevy. I think uh, what we wanted to do was make it difficult on him, whether that was hit some mistakes, barrel up some balls, um, really not chasing out of the zone is what we did a good job of that, that got his pitch count up and forced him out of the game early. I think we chased one early in the game and then one in the middle. But after that, uh, we kept him on the plate uh, and in our zone very, very well. Hey, Garrett, um, was there a specific pitch tonight that when you uh, that you threw that you just felt really good about throwing each time and it was something that you looked for when you were in trouble, like, for example, in the fifth inning when you had first and second? Is there just a pitch that tonight felt really good? Um, yeah, I think my slider today, um, usually – I think as the week goes on, or as each week goes on, it's uh, it'll be a new pitch each week. But um, yeah, this pitch or this week it was definitely my slider, um, just because it had a lot of action early, and I could see it. Um, they were just taking it, but I saw that you know when I just threw it down and I threw it as hard as I could that um, they swung over the top of it. So yeah, I think my slider I had the most confidence in today. You had talked about the other day, Garrett. You know, just feeling comfortable being at home, you know, like sleeping in your own bed, driving your own car, et cetera. You certainly looked comfortable out there on the mound. How did you feel out there? Uh, yeah, I felt really good. I think um, as the week, as each week goes on, uh, there'll be more and more fans in the stands and that just helps us and gives us an advantage. So um, yeah, this week was a lot of fun and today was a lot of fun just because uh, there were so many, you know, Tucson fans out there and it was, it was loud at times. So I think that just fuels us and uh, yeah, it made me feel more comfortable because I knew, you know, it's not just me and nine people out there. There's, there's thousands of fans that are um, rooting for us as well. So. Sure. Is there a certain point uh, in, in the evening, maybe in the bullpen or, or the first batter or when you sort of feel like, Hey, I, I might really have it tonight. Um, no, I, I think, I think as the game goes on, I, uh, I think I get into trouble when I get um, too comfortable uh, I think you could fall into the trap of, you know, oh, I'm rolling tonight and you just start, 
you know, leaving balls up or leaving balls down the middle. So I would try to make it a challenge to make each inning better than my last. So, um, yeah, I just, I think I had to stay aggressive and, and if I didn't stay aggressive, then they, you know, would have taken advantage because they were a really good hitting team. So, uh, Tony, uh, coach Johnson a little while ago said that development happens at different times for different players. And he kind of cited around the USC series that something changed in you. What, what has happened that has made you, uh, be able to put so much more power behind these swings lately? Uh, I feel like I'm just using my legs more. I feel like my stance now, it's a lot lower than it previously was. So just being able to use my hips and my legs and my swing, I feel like that that's helped a lot. And considering the way this game had gone, uh, while Garrett was throwing a gem, you guys had missed a couple opportunities in the middle of the game. Was there something on that pitch? You, you swung at the first pitch that, that you just needed to take advantage of? Well, I knew uh, he threw a lot of uh, change-ups. So I was like, I was thinking uh, at the play, if he throws me a change up, up I'm a, I'm a swing, and I happen to put a good swing on it and hit it out. You know, it's not that much different from what you guys usually do, but it really seemed like your game plan tonight was, you know, work, work the count, try to get the starting pitcher out of the game. How do you feel like you guys executed that plan? Uh, I felt like we did really good. There were a lot of uh, three two counts, two two counts, and I feel like, uh, well, I know that in the fifth fourth inning he was already up to about like 80 90 pitches so I feel like we did a really good job with that sure what did you think of Garrett Irvin's performance tonight that's uh, amazing that guy's a grinder competitor like uh Jay said earlier literally he's just a winner and I love playing behind him sure when a guy is being really efficient and working fast does that make it easier as a defense to sort of stay engaged in the game Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, yeah, I think he had a four pitch inning at one point, and I literally came in the dugout. I was like, this is the best, like, half inning of my life. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, def it's definitely sweet. <laughs>